What is going on LEGO Investors? So today we're going to go over a set that I really really like. I made a video about this a long time ago but since we are approaching retirement date I figured I'd make another video and gather everyone's opinions on how they feel about this set. So I'll give my thoughts and opinions. Please comment down below. It will definitely help the channel, help the community. So let's dive into it. Today we're going to talk about the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. This is part of the Icons theme. So this set is 2,352 pieces. It's item number 1027 and it has 1,560 insider points. It retails for $239.99. So I will say at the beginning when this set came out, this set looked like a phenomenal investment. I thought this set was going to do absolutely amazing. I thought it was going to retire, I believe, at the end of 2022. I had about six of these, so I spent over $1,000 on them. And sadly, LEGO extended the retirement date. And that's what happens sometimes when you invest in LEGO. That's just one of the downsides. It's a huge risk and gamble. You never know what's going to be pushed back, and you never know what's going to retire early. LEGO intentionally tries to throw people off because they're kind of anti-investors. You might not agree with that, but... I think that has been proven over and over again. And for the new people, you just kind of have to accept that. And you have to accept where if you buy your sets early, there's a chance that they could be extended. For example, I went hard on the Harry Potter Hedwig sets. Everyone thought that was going to retire after two years. They extended it a year. And unfortunately, I spent about $6,000 and it's been sh sitting on the shelf, wasting away. And sadly, that's $6,000 that gets pushed back a year and even beyond that because it just takes so much longer to recoup that money. So luckily I was able to return all mine from Target. I got a cool person. They just accepted them all right there. And I bought mine when they're $199. And sadly Lego decided to raise the price on this, which again, greed. I do not like that when Lego raises the price. If you're going to list have it at a certain price, honor that price. Do not raise it in hopes to get more money. I, I really am against that, and that's really a bad image on Lego's part. So pretty much I had to decide whether I wanted to return them for $199 and then potentially buy them back more at a higher price, and I'm glad I did because it got extended again, and it's just been out way too long now. I want to say this is probably the best looking car of this size I've seen. I, I truly, I say that, I'm not a big fan of displaying cars like the larger ones like this but they did a phenomenal job with this set it's an awesome display the box is awesome and I, I just love everything about this set so like I said before I was really I thought this was going to be a great investment but they sadly just extended it for way too long and now in my opinion I think it's a bad investment I think there's a potential that you might have to hold this for maybe four to five years before you see a decent profit and if I had to guess they're gonna keep making Ghostbuster videos and they're just gonna release a smaller Ecto-1 which if they did that it would really destroy this set because I think people will want the cheaper version with minifigures or I wouldn't be surprised if we get like a mid-size Ecto-1 for like 60 to $80. So sadly this set came out in 2020 and now it's retiring at the end of 2024. So it's been out way too long. And again, I think because of that, it turned a great investment into a bad investment. So I honestly don't even think I'm going to buy one. I'm, I'm leaning more I'm potentially buying one as do not but I, I really want to know your opinions do you think there is a potential this could skyrocket after seeing how the Batman Batwing did and how bad it's done I don't think the Ecto-1 is going to raise in price I think I think it's just going to be an insanely long hold and it's too long for my comfort so really quick let's take a look at some previous Ghostbuster sets so we can kind of see what we're dealing with we gotta look at the data. So we got the much smaller 508 piece Ghostbuster Ecto-1, which is item number 21108. This one retail for $50. It's got a value of 113. This one's an awesome set. And then we got the Firehouse Headquarters. I wanna say this is like, in my opinion, a Holy Grail type set. I see everyone searching for this set, asking about it. They love this set. So I, I think it's fair to say it might be a Holy Grail. Not like Cloud City Holy Grail, but I don't know. Do you classify this one as a Holy Grail? 
I think it's popular because it can be used in city building. It's just an awesome building. We don't have any, we don't have many skyscraper type buildings like this. So I think it's really cool. I, I just think it's a really cool set in general. And then we've got the 2016 version, Ecto-1 and Ecto-2. This is item number 75828. This one retail for 60, value of 115. And then we've got the Ghostbusters level pack retail for 30 value of 39 i think this one is kind of a rip off but there's still there's still profit in this and then the new ghostbusters play the complete movie this one retail for 49.99 value of 45 dollars right now then we got our ecto one so when i'm investing in a set i i want to say i prefer the smaller sets like this there's a lot more it's a lot easier for the set to grow in price compared to a set that's over 200 dollars so I sell locally, I do not sell online. One day I hope to sell online, but sell when you're getting above probably $150, it's very hard to move a set when you're selling locally. Online, yeah, you can move a set pretty easier, but I think it's a lot it's a lot harder and it's a lot riskier. There's just too much risk involved in me. I don't like the thought of selling online yet because I can't afford to take the losses. And yes, I do know I do need to expand my business and I hope to one day but just not right now. But I prefer the smaller ones. I would, I any any day of the week, I would choose these two smaller ones over the much larger one. And why is that? Because of the price and the fact that you get minifigures with this set. So let's take a look at item number 21108. This one, see what the minifigures, how they're doing. So this is a much smaller Act of One set. And I still think it looks phenomenal. And you get the minifigures, which is definitely helps the price. They come with four. So if we see here, this one, uh, $20, $20, $19, $18, and then $13, 4 9 and 9 So pretty decent pricing on the minifigures. And I just think for from an investing standpoint, people are going to gravitate towards this set compared to a much larger one. The much larger one, I think, is more niche because the people that buy those sets are ones that have to buy a bunch of other sets to display and it's it's more niche and i think it's a lot easier for a fifty dollar set to double than a two hundred dollar set to double i don't think the ecto one will ever double and then let's take a look at the other ecto one item number seven five eight two eight this one six minifigures all of them are exclusive got a value of ninety four dollars and thirty two cents it's got a value of 115 so again awesome set people are buying it for the minifigures compared to the car you would you would expect the car to be the seller in this point but it's the minifigures so this minifigure 967 1035 2245 983 227 2227 and 1975 i'm really surprised that mayhem mayhem isn't doing a lot more than 22 but is it it is a skeleton type set so skeletons just there's no money in that but I would expect this one to be really rare and exclusive, so I would expect that one to be a lot more money. So let's take a look at how the Ecto-1 is doing on eBay right now, so we can look at some numbers. We got $107.50, 10 bids, 160 214 275 185 here, less than 191 194 199 199 210 179 less than 189 200 here, 200, 188, 184, 199. So I want to say I am absolutely blown away that it is still pulling near 100 or 200 dollars. That that really reinforces my love for this set. Maybe there might be potential in this set. I mean, so close to retirement, I could still pick this up, and it's pulling 200. That that is a really good sign to me. So let's take a look at how the two smaller ones are doing. So we're looking at 75828. So this one, we got 120, less than 99 here, 129, less than 120, 110, $100, 78, 129, 83, 119, 120, 117. So really decent pricing on this. Brick economies, I want to say pretty spot on. And then we'll look at item number 21108. This one's 139, which this Ecto-1 is far better than the other one. $100 here, 139, less than 115, 102, 125, 275, less than 139, 130. The minifigures pulling for 47 bucks here. Used is 59.99, so really great pricing. You you knocked it out of the park if you bought these sets and I would I'd love to hear if you bought any of these two the smaller ones and if you sold them. That is that's really good money and that's a great investment. 
you did a great job, and I, I definitely want to hear the profits you made and anything with this, or if you're still holding them. So after seeing the price on eBay, I'm kind of leaning towards that maybe I do want to pick up one Ecto-1 just in case. But I don't know. I mean, I thought the Batwing was going to do very, very well and extremely popular, but it just did so bad. But this one's still pulling near 200 on eBay, so that's a good sign to me. Maybe I might pick up one. It's a great display piece. But my fear is that if I bought this one, you know, two, three years, four years down the line, I would bet they're going to come out with a smaller one. I mean, it's just, I think it's going to happen. And I think a much smaller one would be a greater investment because it comes with minifigures. People love the car. So I'm, I'm torn. I'm, I really am. I'm kind of leaning on passing, but it could, there could be some potential. So I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. Please comment down below. I hope you have a great day. Shout out to everyone that's been liking and commenting the videos. I truly do appreciate it. But as always, please do your own research. Have some fun. Make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.